so we're working today out of a book called The Beginner Piano Lessons for Kids. Doesn't necessarily mean you're a kid if you're having this lesson or watching this lesson, but you may be at the level that this book's written at. So I'm starting on page 10 today with Mary Had a Little Lamb. These are right hand songs because they are in the treble clef. They tell you to set your thumb up on middle C. And you're going to need five fingers. So it goes through, has both the numbers and the notes. I like it when you say it when you play it. E, D, C, D, E, 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 D, 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 E, G, G, line two. E, D, C, D, E, 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 oh, E, 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 C, D, D, E, D, C. You can say it like that. Or you can say the pitch. For me, saying the pitch, I won't make any mistakes probably this time. Watch. Pitch helps me. E, D, C, D, E, 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 D, 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 E, G, G, E, D, C, D, E, 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 C, D, D, E, D, C. And release on one. So the last note is a whole note. And this book does discuss rhythms. And it goes into rhythms and rhythm reading. Uh, let's go on and look at page 11. So 11 is Ode to Joy at the top of the page, which I'll uh, attach uh, the book pages to this too, or if you already own the book. They discuss quarter notes, one beat. Quarter note, one beat. Half notes two beats one count note two count note and this song has both of those in it of course and there's a little picture of beethoven that's kind of fun so here we go it's gonna start on three e e f g g f e d c c d e e d d line two e e Notice how my hands are curved. The keyboard is not so high that I'm having to bend my wrist like this to get to it, or I'm not playing like this or up like this, but at a relaxed position. Whatever you have to do to get your keyboard to the correct level for your arm, which this is at the correct level for my arms. <laughs> so hopefully you've got everything set up. If not, you should definitely adjust it to do that. Here's another short song on the next page, talking about hot cross buns. They discuss, I actually, adding another rhythm here, they discuss the eighth note. Two half beats, two of these equal one beat. Each one is a half of a count. Quarter note, one count, two beats. So those are in these songs. Looking at exercise eight. If you were to clap or count exercise eight, we have this. One, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, 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 three, two, four, two. Those are the half counts. Or you can go one dash two, three dash four, one, 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 one and two and three and four and, or you can just say one and one and one and one and. So that's how you count that. They have you playing it on middle C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. It's real important that you don't rush at the end. Just tap that foot, keeping a steady beat. All right, Hot Cross Buns has a mixture of those rhythms in it. E, D, C, E, D, C, 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 D, 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 E, D, C. This is supposed to represent my toe, my foot, because you might be able to hear my foot. 
trying to be loud. <laughs> it's hard to be loud when you're wearing soft sole shoes. But this is my foot. Happy practicing.